these rituals were specific and followed with exact precision, all starting with a death vigil held by relatives at the dying person's side. Massimo Carnavali, a PhD candidate at La Sapienza University in Rome, has extensively studied the burial rites of the ancient Romans. La moglie seguiva il moribondo. The wife followed the dying man closely, along with his relatives. At the very moment of the passing, of his death, the wife kissed the deceased because it was believed that, at that very moment, his soul rose from his mouth. This way, the wife would now have the soul within her and could protect it. In this case, the wife of the dead man would close his eyes. The man's relatives would enter and shout the man's name three times. The wife would request that the family's slave put out the lamplight, which would only be relit once the funeral activities were finished. Once the wife and relatives had left the bedchamber, the libertinari would enter. They were in charge of the preparation of the body. The libertinari undressed the body, washed it, and then the polincturers would bathe the body in ungent. He would then be placed once again on his bed and dressed in his finest clothes, also his jewels, rings, and necklaces. After this, flowers and pieces of amber would be placed on the body. The entire funeral bed had been decorated. The relatives and wife were allowed back in the room. Along with them came the mourners, women paid specifically to cry, howl, and tear out their hair. This practice exists in Italy to this day. After this exercise, along with a musician, the deceased was taken in a cortege to the sepulcher for the inhumation or cremation of the body. 